Uh, myself Divya Lakshmi and topic is uh, news video segmentation and introduction about the uh, news video segmentation is uh, in the, the news contains a sequence of video images, audio and text information. And that's it, the top present in video contain the usual information for automatic annotation, structuring, mining, indexing and the retrieval of video. News structure. In day to day, day life, we are used to watch the news. The news typically start with the intro highlight of the sequence that will be uh, introduction about the upcoming news. Uh, each news normally begins with the anchor person who is uh, uh, intro for intro the uh, first sequence. Then it will they will include the sports uh, sports news, finance, and weather. Here I have mentioned that small image uh, represent the news structure. First is uh, the anchor reading the new intro of the news, and then uh, news, and then weather, commercial, sports, finance, like that. It will represent. Next, um, uh, they have used a uh, multimodal feature based segmentation. They have three features: that is visual feature, audio feature, and the multimodal uh, multimodal feature. Visual feature, we have uh, seven uh, different features. First in the uh, short detection. The short, uh, the short detection is uh, uh, performed, but it is not directly used as a basis for the candidate story boundaries as this would induce a significant number of mixed transition. Instead, it is used as a feature associated to one second uh, segment units, two binary values or associated with the each one second uh, segment indicated the presence or absence of the cut or global sorry gradual transition with it face and the anchor person uh, detector we, we we use the face detector which are on the author uh, in order to detect the anchor person sequence we assume that frames with the anchor persons or contains a face center and very likely to appear frequently almost as it is in, in the video next is chunk frames the junk frames is a non-informative frame, typically strong compression, artifacts, transmission errors, or more simply black or single color frames. Visual activity, the intensity of motion activity in a video, in, in fact, a measure of, measure of how much the video content is changing. Considering the high computation complexity caused by exiting methods to model the motion feature. We use a more computationally effective color pixel differences based method to extract the visual activity. The visual activity of a frame can be represented by the percentage of pixels that have changed the color between it and the previous frame. Then logo detection. The TP logo is a graphic representation that is used to identify a channel. The logo is placed in the same place and continuously, except during the commercials. Um, based on this observation, we compute the average frame of the video and the variance of, of the pixel color in the video. Next, screen text. The screen text boxes are detected using the myth. Um, using the successive uh, filters caused in the frames. Next one, we have visual clustering. Um, we clustering in order to group video segments by visual similarity. Now we, we represent the video segment by an HSV color histogram. We, um, we have mean used the equivalent distance to compare the video segments. And finally, we use k means perform the clustering. Uh, next. Next is uh, audio filter. Sorry, uh, here have uh, sample images of anchor person templates and also junk frames uh, and junk frames. Next is uh, and the logo detection. The average frames and the reference positions. The CNN image is on the right and the ABC of the left. The first image represent the, the first image uh, represent the average for a selected location, and then the second image the image the pixel with the lowest variance in white or considered to be a part of the logo. Audio features. Next is audio features. Um, audio features. There the four different features, silence detection, automatic speech recognition, speaker detection, and transition words. Then multimodal 
feature. The multimodal feature are the pool of feature obtained from single modalities to be used for story boundary combined into a global representation. We have mentioned that uh, multimodal feature image that is uh, the figures are quite complicated, but it is very useful to use the see the various shapes and complementaries of individual uh, individual features. Then the algorithm and techniques that I have played that is using pixel library and also using the segmentation that is semantic segmentation and also having loading the pass walker model. Yeah, I have imported uh, the class for perform uh, semantic segmentation and create an instance of the class. Uh, we, loaded, uh, we loaded the exception model trained on Pascal work data set to perform a semantic uh segmentation we call the function we we call the function to perform segmentation on the video file it uh it, video file it takes the it takes the following parameters that is the video path and the path of the video file we want to uh, segment next is a uh, frame per second this is a parameter used to set the number of frames per second for the saved file in this case uh, it is set to 15, 15. That is, then the saved video file will be will have 15 frames per second. And output uh, output video uh, video name. The name of the saved segmented video. The mineral um, video. The output video will be saved in the in our current working directory. And this all are my implementation. And thank you.